Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. My name is Arjat and today we will be discussing the question Count odd numbers in an integer interval. In this question, we are given two integers low and high and we need to find out the number of odd integers that exist between the range. Now there are certain examples given in the problem. Before moving on to the explanation part, I want to share something with you. We see that only 10% of our viewers has subscribed to our channel and it will mean a lot for us if you subscribe to the channel. So please subscribe to the channel. Now we'll move to the explanation part and see how we can solve this problem. So in this problem, we will be given two variables, low and high. So the range will start from zero and go up till 10 raised to power nine. We'll see some of the values. So we have this list of numbers and our range can lie in between any of these numbers. So now let's discuss this particular problem by evaluating each and every case. So in the first case, we are assuming that both the values are odd values. The range will start from 5 and is ending at 11. So the total number of values in this particular range is 7. And when we count the number of odd values, we see that the number of odd values in this range is 4. So we'll just write that down and now we will discuss the second case. The second case is where only one value is an odd value. In that case, we shorten the window by one. Now the number of values in this range is equals to six. And when we count the number of odd values, it is equals to three. The last case where none of the two values are odd values. In that case, the total number of values in this range is five and the number of odd values is two. So now let's discuss each case one by one. So starting off, we'll first discuss the case where one of the value is odd. So we'll just take that if low value given to us starts from an odd value. The total number of values is 6 and the number of odd values is 3. We know that beforehand. Now, the next case in this particular case itself can be if the high value is the odd value and the low value is an even value. Still, the number of odd in this particular range stays the same. Now, one more example of this particular case where only one of the values is odd value. If we stretch the window by one number from each side, the total number of values in this particular range is 8 and the number of odd values is now 4. So what is the logic of finding out the number of odd values? We know that every second number in a range is an odd number. So a window of two values will contain one even value and one odd value. So if we have a window of two and we move it across this particular range, we know that one value is even and one is odd. And we need not to worry about whether the first was even or the second was even or odd. We find out how many such windows are possible. So here we see there is one window possible. We move the window. We continue to do so and we reach the end of this range. Since we already know that the number of values in this particular range is even. That means there are even number of values between this particular range. So the number of odd values in that case is nothing but total by 2 which is the total number of values by 2 as the number of total values is an even value the number of odd values will be half of it and half of the total values is even values i hope that made sense now let's move on to the rest of the cases the first case is whether there are both the values which are odd and then the case wherein none of the two values are odd so let's see how we will do that We'll first focus on both the values being the odd values. In that case also, let's apply the same logic that we discovered in the previous support. We'll take a window of two, try to move it all in the range. But at the very end, we see that we are not able to have the two values at the end of this range. Since the total number of values in this particular range is an odd value, that means whether the last value is an even value or the odd value will decide whether to increment or not. So in this case, when both the values are odd values, we obviously know that the last value is an odd value. So the total number of odd values will be total by two plus one. We already discussed when the number of total values is even, it will be total by two. Now coming on to the third case, wherein none of the two values is an odd value. In that case also, the total number of values is equals to an odd value. 
we again do the same taking a window of size 2 we move it but at the end we come across a single variable and as the single variable is not an odd value we won't be adding that in the total by 2 and the total number of odd values is equals to total number of values in this range by 2 so these are the only three cases that exist in this particular problem and we need to now decide how we can write the solution for this particular question I'll highly recommend you guys to first try this by yourself and if you face any issue you can always come back to the video we'll first write out the code in the format that we discussed and then we'll make some optimization to shorten our code so let's code now so as discussed we'll first start off with finding out the total number of values that lies in this particular range so we'll first find that it will be total equals to 2 plus 1 we discussed that if the total value is an even value that means there will be half of the values which will be odd so we can directly return total by 2 now coming into the else part in the else part we saw that if both the values are odd values and none of the values is odd value so these are the two cases that are remaining so we will just write those cases so we can write if the low is an odd value and also high is an odd value if that is the case we need to simply return total by 2 plus 1 else the remaining case is none of high and low is an odd value so we need to simply return total by 2 so that's all for this particular question we'll try to run the sample test cases so it ran successfully let's submit this so it got submitted successfully now how we can optimize this code how we can shorten and remove some of the condition that seems redundant in this particular case so we see that we are doing an if and else check over here which can be removed since we saw in the explanation also that the plus one is totally dependent on the high value so what we can do is we can just replace this one with high mod 2 this will give one in the case it is odd and will give zero in the case it is even which will cover this particular case as well so we need not to have this particular cases we can remove this now the code looks much simpler we'll submit this as well so this also gets submitted the time and space complexity of this particular problem is of 1 since both the space and time is constant i hope you like this video do let us know your thoughts comments and queries in the comment section below please like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching see you in the next one